and Brazil will land the first blow. Tandara Caixeta. And what a way for her to start after making just 7 of 22 attack kits yesterday. She played the first three sets of that five-setter and then was taken out of the game. Didn't play at all in sets four and five. Back in and in with a bang here. Off the top of the block, recovered by Gabby on the baseline. Here she comes again, drilling one to the backcourt, Tandara. Brazil will reload, Tandara fully fit, focused and firing across to the far side. Did it get a touch on the way? No, it didn't. Although Brazil may well choose to challenge. The call on court was a Dominican point with the ball landing out of bounds, but did it get a block touch on its way out? The hit was from Lorene on the far side after Tandara had had a couple of goes from this near side. There'll be no challenge, so Dominican Republic on the board. Back on serve, and what a bullet that was from Bethania de la Cruz. Returned with interest, though, by Brazil. Zé Roberto's team look in the mood. After the disappointment of that previous point, Lorene has another go from the far side, and this time gets it to stick. No doubt about the touch from the defence on that occasion. The set right on top of the net, off the double block. A chance for Brazil to set, though, for the backcourt attack, right down the centre, with a touch off the hands of the blocker. Brazil coming out strong in the early exchanges of this one. Lorene to serve. She has been superb so far this weekend. Serves into the net though, and Dominican Republic able to get back within one. Lorene converted 23 of her 46 attack kits over the first two matches. Exactly 50% efficiency, averaging 13 points per match. Gabby helping it too long on the serve reception as she holds up her hand apologetically to her teammates. A gift for Dominican Republic. Serve reception too long. It's gobbled up over the top of the net by the very lengthy Braeline Martinez at two metres one. The tallest player on court this weekend. Tandara with the tip. Recovered in the backcourt by Marte. Drilled down the line. Leia the Libero behind it. Tandara against the block and out of bounds for the score. Brazil back ahead after Dominican Republic. Had won the previous two points. Three blockers sewn so tightly together, but not penetrating the net enough. And Tandara able to get the kind deflection. Cross court pass from Martinez just had to be forced over by Rivera. Back set to the far side against the block. And this time, Dominican Republic who are such a good blocking team, come out on top. The back set from Macris, far side, two of them together. And it was the captain, Priscilla Rivera, who got a big touch on it, 4-4. Gabby. Marte's back set, cross-court swipe from... Yaneri Martinez, Brazil to try and hit it back from the backcourt. And exploding down the pipe, Braeline Martinez. Dominican Republic from two down ahead now. They're showing their quality already. off the block Cut by Castillo to the far side Brazilian blockers given plenty of time to get across into position you see how long the pass is there from one side of the floor to the other and that gives the Brazilian players time to shuffle across in 
particular, the middle blocker, Anna Beatrice, from the centre, stepping across to the right and helping out her teammate. Nothing to separate these two over the first ten points. Marte to the far side, Rivera's tip. Plenty of cover from in behind. Marte to set it, backcourt attack again. A foot fault, though, on the three-metre line from Braylene Martinez. Brazil with the point. And the serve finds the corner. Well, Dominican Republic aren't convinced by that call. They may well choose to challenge. This picture should tell us, does this ball land in or not? It was left, wasn't it? And it certainly looks like it finds the baseline. Liz Eve making a poor decision to get out the way of it. Brazil up by two. Rivera rattles one off the block touch as Dominican Republic get back in business. And they prevent Brazil moving into the technical timeout. With what would have been the first three-point lead. Instead, Dominican Republic back within one. Priscilla Rivera to serve. And to serve all the way through. It was a poor reception. Allowing Dominican Republic to get level off the ace of their captain. Tandara Kaisheta, the player who couldn't deal with it. The next point will take us into the technical timeout, which comes when the leading team hits eight points. Rivera's serve. Here goes Gabby against the triple block. And beyond even the reach of Brenda Castillo. Who's so adept at getting to so much all around the court, but she couldn't reach enough to bring that one back into play. And Brazil have the slenderest of edges at the first technical timeout. with an average of 16 points per match so far in this group. So efficient as well, 26 of 41 attack hits for her. Five aces on serve as well. Their top scorer at this year's Volleyball Nations League with 278 points. Against the triple block, against the net. And the score for Dominican Republic. And they did really well there because it wasn't the most fluent offence. And the Brazilian block is able to get in position, three of them sewn tightly together. All of them beaten though. And there Martinez serving into the net, the 21-year-old middle blocker. Brazil back ahead. Gabby serve. Backcourt attack. That looked like a foot fault again. It was from Braley Martinez. The second of those already here. Brazil lead by two. Side attack off the double block. Macris to help it up towards Tandara, tips it over the double block, Help back over and out of bounds. Brazil leading by three. It's the largest lead of this first set. The hosts are heating up.
heavy serve across to the sideline. And away off the double block from Bethania de la Cruz. And that was a vital point early on here to avoid Brazil creating breathing room. Going towards the midway point of this opening set. Four-point lead would have been a hugely significant one. Now back up by three, the right-hand rocket of Loreni. Picture-perfect attack. Hammered into the back corner. Brazil's big hitters, it seems, have really come to play here. Mata with a quick set. Brazil, a chance to get on top of the rally. Tandara, she's been the biggest hitter of them all. Brazil do lead by four, and it's Tandara Caixeta again. count she's got four points already after only making seven of 22 through the whole of the match yesterday Marcos Kviet calling the timeout on the Dominican bench. Brazilian by birth, but he has been in charge of the Dominican women's team for over a decade now, taking over back in 2008. Before that, he was an assistant for four years on the Brazilian national team. Lorene pushing on towards the back corner and finding a piece of the line. A very different type of technique to the one we saw from her, which was pure power a few moments ago that time. was a touch of magic. Brazil on the front foot. Lorene heating up and Brazil lead by six. Calls for concern for Marcos Kviek and his Dominican Republic side. Lorene is taking charge over on that far side. Brazil only one point away from the second technical timeout now, which comes when the leading team hits 16. Mara Leao serve, clips the top of the net, goes through the hands of Eve. Against the double block and down, and just what Dominican Republic needed. His team desperately in need of a run now. Trailing by five points. First to 25 in this first set, and uh, in each of the first four sets, if we require a decisive fifth set, that one is first to 15. Look at that, a lightning bolt of a hit from Lorene. She has been spectacular over the last five minutes. Lorene Geraldo Teixeira at it again, and Brazil lead by six of the second technical timeout of the opening set. We haven't really seen too much from Gabby yet, but we know that she can catch fire at any given moment. Instead, it's been Lorene more recently and Tandara before that. 
Getting these fans on their feet with some huge hits. And they have rocked Dominican Republic right back against the ropes here in this first set. Loreni on serve with Brazil leading by six. Really good serve as well. The pass comes from right back near the baseline and Dominican Republic get away with one there because it was a difficult serve reception. And they come away unscathed. Really nice play from Castillo to get it back to her captain, Ribeira, who provided the delicate touch to finish in difficult circumstances. A rocket of a right hand from the backcourt again. This time, Lorene stopped, though. Trying to sneak it over was Macris, the setter. Tandara will have a go from the near side, and she is back in business as well. If it's not Lorene on the far side, it's Tandara on this near side. And Dominican Republic finding it so difficult to stop those two. They are bringing their A game so far today. Blockers in position, but just deflecting the ball off the court. Dominican Republic scrapping to stay in contention in this first set. They need to go on a run sooner rather than later. Fraley Martinez on serve, down by five points. Not the best touch from Macris to the far side. It gives Dominican Republic a chance to get on top of the rally. Stop though, right over the net. Yuneri Martinez, far side, Rivera coming in. They can't find a way past Brazil here. There she is again on the tandem attack. The three blockers in the way though. One more time for Rivera. Brazil building a big yellow wall, but blazing right past it in the end was Brayeli Martinez to the backcourt. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Everybody having a go for Dominican Republic. And those three blockers for Brazil working so well in tandem. Before Brayeline Martinez finally found a way through. The spotlight is so often on Gabi Guimarães, as well as being their top scorer at the Volleyball Nations League. She was also their best receiver, their second best digger, and their second best blocker. That huge rally before the timeout, getting Dominican Republic back within four. That was very close. They're going to challenge, I think, Brazil. And they feel there was a touch. And here we go. We are going to have the challenge. That one hit right towards the baseline by Brazil. There's a clear block touch, though. With the little finger on the left hand of Priscilla Rivera. So Brazil up by five, 18-13. Backcourt here into the block. Braley Martinez shut down. Brazil back up by six and only six points away. Three of them again so tight in the center together. Team in control. Anna Beatriz with the serve. Again, it's a difficult reception. They've got to just help it over here with Braley Martinez. The set for Macris right on top of the net. Tandem attack. Gabby coming in. Dug out by Castillo. 
Tipped over the top of the block. Macris to help it up. Anna Beatrice. And then Tandara to help it over. Far side. Rivera had the defensive door slammed in her face. Over the top of the block the second time. Another fantastic rally. And a whistle on the play gives the point to Dominican Republic. The fault on the Brazilian side of the floor. As his team get back within five. A rather anticlimactic finish to a fantastic rally. The second of those that we've witnessed in recent minutes. Increase tipping it over the top by Mara. Marte can set it right on top of the net. And there's no touch. Just a miscalculation from Ian Ari Martinez. And so much to aim at here. On the run. Looking down the line, but got too much on it. Increase Carneiro to serve for Brazil. Almost an ace, but helped up by Marte. Tandara against the block. Janeri Martinez, who had that attack hit error on the previous point, getting in the way of this one to try and make amends. A big rejection from the big number 21. Perfect serve reception right back on top of the net. And Lorene takes full advantage. Measured to perfection. Back to Macris, the setter. Who has so many attack hit options available to her and went across to Lorene on this near side. Dela Cruz dug out in the backcourt. Lorene on the far side this time against the block. Macris across towards Tandara, too much on it. On the set that time from Macris. Miscalculation here on this pass. Direct drill down the line. Rivera out of bounds off the block. Dominican Republic putting together consecutive points and closing the gap to four. Brazil only need four more to take the first set. There would have to be some run from here for Dominican Republic, but that's a pretty good start. Niverka Mate set to serve. Gabby from the backcourt, stopped by Marte. Mara over the top of the net, couldn't get the job done. Far side, Lorene to try and help it. Dominican defence standing firm and winning the point in the end. And they stopped everything that Brazil could throw at them. Three points in a row to half the deficit. Mara. No way through for her either. Lorene, far side, did it get a touch? No. Marte, who ducked and got out the way of it as it was fired towards her face. Look at this, the number seven just getting out the way. And that is four in a row for Dominican Republic to close a six-point deficit down to just two and to force a Roberto on the Brazilian bench to call a timeout. Dominican Republic, who are yet to lose a set, 
here in Group D in Uber Langer. Oh, battling hard and showing resilience and character and trying to continue that run. Brazil up by six at 21-15. Looked like they were closing in on victory here in the first, but Dominican Republic with four straight points to get back within two. And off the back of the timeout, Brazil end that run. Lorani Geraldo Teixeira once again adding to her big tally in this opening set. Brazil three points away. Plenty of communication from Brenda Castillo, the libero. Marte's back set to the near side. And off the block from Bethania de la Cruz. Two-point game again. Looks like they've called no block touch, in fact. No, nope, it has been called a block touch. My initial assessment correct. The score was momentarily reflecting a four-point Brazilian lead. It is only two. Lorene! What a slice from one side to the other. Unstoppable stuff from Lorene. Hardly even time to drop to one knee for the defence. Brazil up by three. They need two more, 23-20. As Paula Borgo, but Danny Gedges comes in off the bench. So too does Roberta, their secondary setter. Who goes on to the baseline to serve. Castillo behind it. Marte set towards this near side. Bethania de la Cruz gets Dominican Republic back within two again. No time for the two blockers to get together and she exploded that one down the big seam in the block. Have a serve, little to no room for error, and it is too long. So Brazil have three set points. Fans rising to their feet here in Uber Lange. Brazil closing in on the first set. Tipped over the top, stretching every fiber of her fingertips. Yuneri Martinez getting up so high and just scraping it almost with her fingernails to get it to fall. Fine margins between success and failure. Dominican Republic still have to survive another two set points for Brazil. Camille Dominguez coming in off the bench to serve here. The first time I think we've seen her this weekend. Barely on court, maybe yesterday. And that one is drilled by Paula, the Brazilian substitute. And they take the first set. And they hand Dominican Republic their first setback of this group D. The first time Dominican Republic have been behind. And look what it means on the Brazilian bench as the hosts take the first set and put themselves in pole position for that ticket to Tokyo 2020. In this winner-takes-all matchup, Brazil take the first set 25-22.
25-22 first set for Brazil. Gives them the edge over the Dominican Republic, who have to come from behind for the first time in this group. They want to go to the Olympic Games next summer. There's one more match to come on this court to finish the action in Uberlinja. And that is uh, later on between Cameroon and Azerbaijan. Although those two teams already eliminated from contention for the Olympics. It's pretty simple, either Brazil or Dominican Republic. Whoever wins this one will finish as group winners and go to Tokyo 2020. And there they would join the host Japan. The winners of the other five groups of this World Olympic qualifying tournament, as well as five more teams, which will be decided in the continental qualification tournaments in January. Other groups going on all around the globe here today are only in their second day of three. This one started a day earlier, so we're on the final day of Group D. groups there'll be plenty of action decisive action tomorrow as well let's see how Dominican Republic can respond to their first setback of this long weekend of top international volleyball two straight sets wins coming in for the Queens of the Caribbean rather comfortable straight sets wins as well over Azerbaijan in Cameroon. Brazil had a real test yesterday against Azerbaijan, one that we didn't really expect. Going all the way to a close finish in the fifth set. Lots of the Brazilian players played long minutes and put an awful lot into that one. Key players played the majority. So the longer this one goes, it may favour Dominican Republic, who uh, themselves got their job done very quickly and efficiently on both Thursday and Friday and also were able to rotate players yesterday. I feel the second set is crucial for them in terms of trying to tie the match and take the match as long as possible. What a start they've made to it. The ace from Yaneri Martinez scored the first two points of set two. Brazil acts her back through Mara Leal. Gabby to serve, five aces through the first two matches. Court hit all the way to the backcourt to Gabby who hops it up into the lights. Macris with a long pass to the far side, the tip from Tandara. Backcourt hit from the team from the Caribbean this time, and that one lands. Really, Martinez, a really positive start to set two for Dominican Republic. Camarte to serve. And serve reception too long and into the net. They've scored four of the first five points of this second set. Loreni looking to play the role of cheerleader for Brazil. So to the coach, say Roberto. A real role reversal since that strong Brazilian finish to the first. That will alleviate some of the pressure. Some of the anxiety, perhaps, that was building around this arena. Marte serves straight into the net.
Jumped all the way towards the rafters by Castillo and two teammates going for it. It's getting in each other's way. Martinez and Priscilla Rivera. What a hit this was to force Dominican Republic back. So difficult to both go for the same ball, to watch the ball and to watch where your teammate is as well to make sure there's no collision. There's a fault on the Dominican side of the floor. So Brazil with three in a row to get level. And that very positive start to the second set from the Dominican Republic has dissipated. Marley out to serve. get themselves back ahead through Braeline Martinez converted nine of her 23 attack kits on Thursday served three aces as well and then had six points yesterday all in the first set before getting a big break not playing in sets two and three off the top of the double block Marte's back set, far side, tipped over the top of the block. Tremendous save from Leo. And across court. A slice good for Brazil. Back level at 5-5. Tremendous defense from Leo Silva, though. And a touch off the blocker on its way through from Tandara. Lorene to serve. The 23-year-old opposite. Tandara from the far side with the diagonal dagger kept alive tremendously well by Castillo. Here she comes again, Tandara off the block. They have to help it all the way over. And they do. What a pass that was from Brenda Castillo. Right across towards the top of the net on the far side. This was perfect from Castillo. Overhead pass with pinpoint accuracy. A moment of magic from their magical Libero. And Braley Martinez did the rest. And they can't help themselves out on serve, though. Dominican Republic as Brazil get level again at 6 6. Gabby, a complete miscalculation. Well, let's have a look. It's hard to see the touch. Dominican Republic were saying there was no touch, but they don't seem to be challenging. So the point is Brazil, 7-6. Tandara serve. Set right onto the top of the net. The long rejection towards the back corner is good. The one on one block for Brazil carries them into the technical timeout with a two point edge. Anna Beatrice, who was their best blocker at the Volleyball Nations League, left isolated but coming out on top. These two teams meeting for the first time in the last seven Olympic qualifying campaigns and 
What a record between the two in terms of world-level major meetings. Brazil winning each of the first 20. Well, that remarkable streak put to the sword earlier this year, earlier this summer, when the Dominicans won 3-1 in the first round of the Volleyball Nations League. Ending that 20-match winning run at world-level majors. And this one is looking set to be tight in set two after a close set one. Dominican Republic off the back of the technical timeout, half the deficit to just a single point. Yenevi Martinez with the score. Grayling to serve. Macri's back set right on top of the net, touched off the block for the score by Anna Beatrice. Average 0.7 stuff blocks per set to lead Brazil in blocking at the VNL earlier this summer. Brazil going on to win silver in that competition, losing in the final to the USA. That time the hit carried too long off the block for the Dominican score. Was this close in the first set as well before Brazil started to open up a bit of a gap towards the midway point of the set. Gabby flicking it over the top of the block and finding a way to score in front of the diving Braley Martinez. It looked like she was going to be stretching too much here, Gabby, off the high set. But she snuck it past everybody. The Dominican Republic do have such a big lineup, which helps them, particularly on block, in terms of their spiking ability, but it does make it difficult on defense to get down to things on the deck. to trading blows now. Neither team able to win a point on their own serve at the moment. A quick score for Bethania de la Cruz. Let's see if Dominican Republic can buck that trend and get level. No is the emphatic answer delivered by Mara Leal. Quick scores for both teams on the serves of the other. Bethania de la Cruz missing everything with that one. Brazil starting perhaps to open up that gap again. Going to have a timeout called by coach Marcos Kviek on the Dominican bench. A three point differential. Second set pretty much mirroring the first in terms of the scoreline progression. It's at this point a game where Brazil started to open up a bit of a gap in the first set. And they're doing so again here in the second. Up by three, 12 to nine. Dominican Republic firing wide of the mark again. It's just not quite clicking for them now. Brazil up by four. This line drive lands the wrong side of the line. Gabi Guimaraes, one of Brazil's best servers. And that one goes for Dominican Republic off the block 
hit by Bethania de la Cruz, who only had three points yesterday after a match I 14 on Thursday. She's got uh, more already today than she had yesterday. Rene answers back for Brazil, beating a couple of diving defenders in the backcourt. Brazil up by four again. Mara lay out to serve. But right back on top of the net and off the block quickly, the hit from Braelin Martinez. Dominican Republic determined not to let Brazil pull away. They have to start scoring points on their own serve, though. Bethania de la Cruz next to step up to the baseline. Really good hit as well, but dug out. Macris, the overhead pass. Lorene stopped. Gabby keeps it alive in the backcourt. Lorene comes again against the block once more. Macris to set right on top of the net. Third time lucky for Lorene. And in truth, there was no luck about it. Lorene just kept reloading and kept firing. And in the end, hit the target. Tremendous technique and tenacity from Brazil's number 24. And the ace on serve sees them cruising into the second technical timeout of this second set. Just as was the case in the first set, they are pulling away at this stage again. A five-point lead for Brazil as it slips through the hands of the Dominican captain, Priscilla Rivera. A special crowd, a special atmosphere, watching a special team as Brazil look to take their place at Tokyo and go to their 11th straight Olympic Games. They are making comparatively light work of a very good Dominican Republic team right now. Certainly not to be underestimated. And Brazil cannot afford to take their foot off the pedal here in the second set. The gap close to four. behind it back set to the far side tipped over the top of the block Tandara will have a hit and what a penetrating block that was tremendous technique in terms of the position of those arms getting them quickly over the top of the net and angled down there to deny Tandara Set to the near side this time, the body shot to rock Brenda Castillo. Uh, Anna Beatriz battering ram to one of the best Liberos on the planet. Brazil up by four, 17-13. Tandara Kaisheta to serve. Just beyond the baseline from one of the few players remaining on this Brazilian roster who was a part of 
the team that won Olympic gold in London in 2012. Gabby off the block, up into the air by Braley. She'll come down the pipe now for the hit, kept up by Lorene. She's going to have a go from the three-meter line, recovered by Lea Silva. The Libero stretching, and Lorene scoring. A huge point for Brazil. They did so well on defense and got their chance on offense, and Lorene took it. A four-point lead as we head towards the final stretch of the second set. Big kick against the block. It bounces up on the Dominican side of the floor. Rivera to hit it, Lorene to help it up. Chance to set cross court for Macris, tipped over the top of the block. The save down on the deck, bodies scrambling all over the place and the hit into the net from Braelin Martinez. Brazil up by five, tying their largest lead in this second set. Despite the very best efforts of Dominican Republic to stay in the rally, an attack hit error from Braelin Martinez. Very clever, very clinical from Niverka Mate. A huge gap to be exploited in the Brazilian defense, and she knew exactly where it was. Rivera to serve. Big hit from Mara right over the top of the net. The snapshot after the perfect serve reception allowed Macris to put it on a plate for it. Brazil by five and only five away. The serve too long. Plenty of tension on the sidelines, on the benches. So much pressure on Brazil as the group favourites, playing on home soil. Just about every, everybody expects them to be at Tokyo. They are the only National Olympic Committee to have appeared in the women's tournament at each of the last ten editions of the Olympic Games. And they're rising to the challenge so far here, back up by five, 21-16. And four points away from taking a two-set lead in this matchup that decides who goes to Tokyo next year. Marte's poor pass capitalized on. Marte made to pay by Lorene. as easy as they come the defense not in position at all not expecting to have to face that from Lorene she scored plenty today that one was a gift timeout called by Dominican Republic Coach Marcos Kvyek's team did fall behind by six points in the first set and were able to go on a run to close the gap to just a couple and ended up losing that first set by three. They're down by six points here in the second set now. Surely need to produce an even better run to try and take this set because you cannot see them coming from two sets down to win against this Brazilian team. Gabby all the way to the back corner with pinpoint precision. If anything, Brazil are getting only more and more dominant the longer this match and this set is going on. 
no signs of fatigue just yet after that five setter yesterday. Gabby, the serve off the top of the net, dug out. Leia battling to the advertising boards to keep it alive, trying to get back into position now, bracing themselves on defense for the big battering ram of a hit. That fizzes past Macris. What a stop from Leia Silva, putting her body on the line. But from there, Brazil were always on the back foot. A really good finish. They did get three blockers in a good position in the center, Brazil, but Fraley Martinez finding a way past them all. Marte to serve. Just about now or never for this Dominican run to materialize. Brazil only need two more points to take the set. Good serve reception. Lorene against the block. No time to penetrate the net. And it deflects long beyond the baseline. And Brazil have a heap of set points. The quick hit, not giving any opportunity for Marte to get her forearms over the net and angling down. And that's why the ball deflected long and out of the playing surface. to wait to take the second set Braley Martinez with one back for Dominican Republic Nathania <laughs> Dela Cruz to serve Lorene down the line wide of the line two in a row for Dominican Republic the first two of those set points go begging they still have five more Brazil they will call the timeout to try and see this one over the line Point number three. Tela Cruz to serve. There you go. Brazil one set away from going back to the grand stage again. They lead Dominican Republic by two sets to love. If they can take any of the next three sets, Brazil will go to Tokyo 2020. After taking the first set 25 22, they take the second set 25 19.
Brazil leading by two sets to love here. To take in the second 25-19 as we see their service placement. They have served the ball very well through the course of the weekend. Just the one ace so far here. Their attack hits have been quite superb though. Especially Lorene, Geraldo, Teixeira, who leads the way of all scorers, Tandara Keshater. With plenty of points as well. And we've got plenty of support in this sea of yellow around the arena, Sabiazino. As well as Olympic gold in 2008 and 2012, Brazil have bronze medals at the Olympics back in 96 and 2000. This qualifying campaign is a rarity for them. They've not participated in any of the last six World Olympic qualifying tournaments. For four of the last six Olympics, they've qualified via the World Cup, as well as qualifying as hosts, of course, in 2016 for Rio. And uh, before that, as the South American qualifier for London 2012. And one set away from going to Tokyo 2020. Dominican Republic with a mountain to climb now against the two-time Olympic champions. Braley Martinez serving to start the third set. Lorene coming in, picking up right where she left off. It's been a scintillating performance. From Lorene Geraldo Teixeira. Not just today, but through the course of the group. Double figures in every match and spiking the ball so, so efficiently. Dominican Republic gets her back at the net. Score for Liz Vallevi. Too hot to handle for Mara Leao. Neve to serve. And she comes again, Lorene high off the block. Can they recover it? No, they can't. Lorene with another. She's only 23, the number 24. She scored a joint team high 20 points in the VNL final as uh, Brazil lost in five sets to the USA earlier this summer. She's showing once again that she can be their main offensive output. That one finds a piece of the court. Number one, Anaris Valdez coming in. She turns 38 next Wednesday. She scores her first point of this group. And her second quickly follows. The middle blocker who was voted the best blocker at an Olympics qualifier all the way back in 2008, now doing it again here in 2019. trying to keep his team on top. They've shared the first six points of the third set. Tandara Caixeta to serve for Brazil. Too long. And Dominican Republic knew it, getting out of the way. They'll be desperate to get the job done in straight sets here. Dominican Republic get a set back and get the wind in their sails, then anything is possible. Brazil will not want to take any chances. A 
Priest trying to sneak it over, help back. There should be a chance to set right on top of the net here. Back set to the far side, Brazil back level. Priest running the offense so well after almost scoring herself. Castillo denying it. Nobody could stop this one. They serve to the far side, Brailin off the block. Macri's cross-court pass, Gabby coming in. Kept up at the feet of Castillo. And Mara shut down by a sizable rejection down the centre. Point black range. Mara going up against Brailin, finding a piece of the net. Thirty-seven-year-old Valdez to serve. Lorene with the line drive. She has been electric throughout this contest. Fault from Dominican Republic. Brazil finally get a point on their serve and get themselves ahead here in the third set. Legal touch from Neverka Mate. She's still stating her case to the official. Dominican Republic are rattled right now. Trying. See so desperately craving each and every point to try and claw their way back into contention. They have to try and keep their wits about them. Increase to serve for Brazil, who've just edged ahead. And there's the ace to double their lead. Just the second ace of this contest for Brazil. <laughs> Bailing off the block. Past the de deficit for Dominican Republic and Brazil have to wait for the technical timeout. Lorene stopped one on one. What an introduction for Gayla Seneda Gonzalez, who came in so impressively in the third set yesterday. And she stops Brazil's top scorer here today. The serve reception too long as well from Gabby. Dominican Republic will have the lead heading into the technical timeout. Three straight points to get them ahead. And one of those, a huge block from Gonzalez. Plenty of action around the globe in these Olympics qualifiers. Overnight, Argentina losing 3-1 to Bulgaria. 
in uh, the USA, the host beating Kazakhstan in straight sets, and then earlier on today, Turkey beating Czech Republic 3-1 in China. China have uh, just confirmed victory against Germany by three sets to one. And here, Brazil leading by two sets to love, but trailing now by two points in the third. And the Dominican Republic score for the fourth straight rally. Korea against Mexico is underway as well. Korea just with the edge towards the end of the first set. That one taking place in Kaliningrad in Russia. Really, Martinez. What about this run from Dominican Republic? Five points unanswered. And there are plenty of questions that Brazil need to answer right now as they trail by three in the third. To try and find the answers, say Roberto will call a timeout on the Brazilian bench. Three points in a row for Dominican Republic before the technical timeout. Jose Roberto had a chance to speak to his team at that point, but it hasn't made a difference yet. Dominican Republic adding another two points to that run since the technical timeout and forcing Jose Roberto's hand once more. Can his words of wisdom make a difference this time? Raylene Martinez against the block, out of bounds. The run goes on and on and on. Six points in a row for Dominican Republic. And the best run from either team at any point through these three sets. Just when Dominican Republic needed it. They come from two down in a set they have to win to lead by four now. And there's another. Brazil have been rocked and rattled. Some head scratching for Zé Roberto. And this crowd is about as quiet as we've heard it at any point here today. A five-point Dominican Republic lead, six points. In fact, make it seven points now without reply. Gabby stepping up to stop the rock for Brazil. Gabby Guimaraes. Getting Brazil back in business, but they've fallen behind by some distance now. And finally bring an end to that Dominican Republic run. And now Brazil need to go on a run of their own. Macris to set, coming in near side, Tandara against the block. Mara helps it up. Far side, Lorene to attack it. Off the block, gets it to land. Back-to-back -back points for Brazil. They close the five-point gap down to three. Three in a row for Brazil. What a response after that timeout from Zé Roberto. Now, Dominican Republic have to call timeout. A 7 0 Dominican run. Brazil responding with a 3 0 run of their own. Fans in Uberlein just certainly playing a big part. The 
Dominican Republic certainly doing their part to quieten them as much as possible in recent moments. But Brazil looking to help their fans find their full voices again. And their 3-0 run comes to an end as Dominican Republic go up by three. Back set from Marte. A hit from Gonzalez again. She was ultra-efficient in yesterday's win. She came in for just the second and third sets and converted six of her eight spike attempts. And Lorena has been ultra-efficient throughout this one as she scores again for Brazil. Leia Silva helping it back from a deep position to Macris and Lorena coming in, doing the rest. Mara's serve. Two points the gap. Over the top of the block, into the net, they'll help it up. Anna Beatriz across to the near side, Tandara off balance and miscalculating. Tremendous defensive work, diving down from Mara Leal. It's a long way down for her, the 1.9 metre middle blocker. That defensive action to no avail. Eve to serve. Tandem attack, not fluent or fluid for Coach Sarah Roberto's team who have fallen behind by four again. Dominican Republic just one point away from reaching the second technical timeout of a third set. They have retaliated. Macris Lorene buries it at the feet of Brenda Castillo. She shows no signs of slowing down. Hit after hit after hit, still generating such power at over 92 kilometers per hour. Paula comes in off the bench for Brazil. Roberta as well, the same change we saw in the previous set. There hasn't been a great deal of rotation at all, really, through the course of the weekend for Brazil. Will they start to tire at some point? Gonzalez stops off the block. Anna Beatriz helps it up to the far side. Paula into the net. An attack hit error from the player who'd just come in. And Dominican Republic reached the second technical timeout of a must-win third set for them with a four-point lead. Dominican Republic needed to show a response, and they have done here in set three as they look to keep their Olympic dream alive. After losing the first two sets, Brazil ever so impressive in both sets one and two. The Dominican Republic rising to the challenge here in set three, lead by four points as we get set to come back off the technical timeout. Deflection just wide, but it was an agonizing moment. Spinning away from the court. Brazil within three. Sandara Kaishata to serve. Home fans trying to get behind them here in Ubalanja. To the far sides. Over the top. Sandara recovers in the backcourt. Gabby from this near side off the block, saved on the baseline. The far side, Bethania de la Cruz to strike it against the double block. They'll reload and go again with Bethania once more, and this time she gets it to land. And Dominican Republic are back up by four points. No 
a chance for Gary to get down to that one. And they're looking so strong right now, Dominican Republic. Gabby, does it get a touch off the blockers? No, it does not. She's yet to really heat up at any point, Gabby, here today. And we are going to get a timeout. Called by Zay Roberto. Brazil down by five. Hard to see Brazil mounting a comeback in this third set. Dominican Republic dealing admirably with anything. Brazil can throw at them multiple timeouts from Zé Roberto to try and turn the tide back in Brazil's favour. They've all come up short. Natalia de la Cruz, Dominican Republic, up by six points, their largest lead. Two blockers tight together, a third arriving, but she found a way past and through the gap. The Rennie has to come back in. Brazil needs something special now here in set three. Dela Cruz on serve. Reception too high, what a stop that is from Leia Silva to keep it alive. Gabby off the block, high into the lights from Bethania and away over the advertising boards. A big point for Brazil when they so desperately needed something. And what about the stop from Leia Silva that gave them the platform? Here comes Amanda Francisco. 30-year-old wing spiker on serve. Looking to spark a Brazilian run. Mateta said on top of the net, tipped over the top of the block. Gabby coming in again, long off the top of the block. Her second point in quick succession. First time she started to find a bit of momentum here, Gabby. They've closed a six-point deficit down to four. Can they keep it going? The set right on top of the net. Amanda Francisco behind it, though. Back set to the far side, Lorene. It deflects high and away, kept alive by Marte, a long way off the court. Dominican Republic need to brace themselves here. Against the block as they dig their heels in on defence and slam the door in the faces of the two-time Olympic champions, Brazil. What a recovery from Marte off the court. They got back in position and a huge rejection from Brayley Martinez. It's inevitable that Coach Say Roberto's team would get the point on that last rally, but Dominican Republic found a way. And they may yet find a way to Tokyo. The lead is five here towards the end of the third set as Gayla Seneda Gonzalez comes back in. Priscilla Rivera to serve. Bit of a delay to take it, but she gets the go ahead. And up steps the Dominican captain. 
Gabby. Again, a long deflection off the block, but recovered on the baseline this time. Aileen to the backcourt. Looks as though Dominican Republic have weathered the Brazilian storm. They've tied their largest lead of this set again at 15-21. Gabby dug out by Castillo. De La Cruz off the mark. And just a little bit of encouragement for Brazil, but it would take something truly special now down the final stretch of this third set to turn it back in their favour. The double block, and what a great deflection that was, back across court. Back-to-back -back points for Brazil. They still believe a comeback is possible. Mara alongside Loreni. Big responsibility on serve. It was over the top of the net, Gabby. Losing out in the joust, but a chance to return it back over the top. They can set right on top of the net. Marte tried to sneak it. Here comes Lorene against the block. Caps it up. Tremendous rally. Gabby. Oh, she unleashes down the line. Three in a row for Brazil to halve the gap. They battled and battled away Brazil and Gabby. Provided the exclamation mark at the end of a superb rally. And she's really starting to step up now as Dominican Republic call a timeout. point you feel as we come back off that timeout that's when it was all going the way of Dominican Republic up by six on a couple of occasions but Brazil have since scored three points in a row and Gabby is really starting to catch fire Macri serving again really helped up They've got to get it over. They collide with each other. Gabby all the way. Castillo to recover on the baseline. Praelian again off the block. Brazil somehow remain alive in the rally. Gabby against the block again. She'll reload once more. Far side is Lorene instead. Long deflection that lands in. And that time Dominican Republic come out on top of another superb rally. And it was by a fine margin as well. All they could do was watch as the ball dropped the wrong side of the line as far as this crowd are concerned. That 3-0 run for Brazil comes to an end. And very quickly back in business through Gabby again. She's stepping up now to be their main offensive weapon. After Lorene and Tandara have taken on that responsibility in the first two sets. They might have left themselves too much to do in this third set, Brazil, before unleashing Gabby. Is there a touch on that one? No, says the official. So Brazil have won five of the last six points. Seems there will be a challenge, though, from Dominican Republic, presumably to see if there was a block touch from Brazil. This is a huge call. The difference between Brazil being back within two or down by four at this stage is so, so significant. 
no block touch from Tandara Caixeta. It is a Brazilian point. From six down, the hosts are within two. Those fans have certainly found their voices again. And their team have found their flow again. Will it be too little too late? Or can they close the gap? Brayaline far side, kept up by Leia. But a fault on the Brazilian side of the floor. And that means Dominican Republic are just two points away from taking the set. Mara Leal was the player. Landing the wrong side of the line. Big serve for Brayaline Martinez. Lorene locked and loaded. Helps it up. Tandara to strike it. Castillo behind it. Backcourt attack. And it lands for Brayaline Martinez and Dominican Republic within touching distance of taking the third set and forcing a fourth. She found a gap in between three blockers. Off the left side of Lorene. The first of four set points. And Brazil save it. Mara Leal the score. And now there's no room for error whatsoever on serve. Mara Leal, set point number two in set number three. They can set to the far side. Dela Cruz rejected back into the face of Brailing. She did well to adjust. Gabby exploding from the backcourt. Back to back points for Brazil. And they are not done and dusted just yet here in the third set. They save the first two of four set points. Mara Leal to serve again. The set right on top of the net against the block. Three in a row for Brazil. Back from the brink. And now the pressure really mounts on Dominican Republic. Tandara and Ana Beatriz closing the gaps at the net. Mara again. Can they get level? Or will Dominican Republic take the set? and keep this match going. They've done it! Dominican Republic survive the Brazilian backlash to produce a retaliation of their own and force a fourth set to keep their Olympic dream alive. Bethania de la Cruz forcing it past two Brazilians at the net. And out of reach of those diving down to the deck. Brazil lead by two sets to one. As Dominican Republic take the third set, 
Brazil so close to a place at the Olympic Games next summer, taking a two set to love lead, but Dominican Republic answering back as we see their spike contact points so far. 51% across to the left. Led by the 15 points of Martinez, nine for Dela Cruz, five for the captain Rivera, but Raelin Martinez has been superb. It's her highest tally of the weekend so far after 13 points in Thursday's win and six points playing just the first set yesterday. That third set hasn't dampened the mood in Uberlinger. But he's got a big set to try and navigate through now. Say Roberto and his team and for Marcos Kviek and Dominican Republic. Now it's another must-win set and looking to rise to the challenge again to take it all the way to a fifth. And as I mentioned earlier on, these fans here watched their team go the full five sets yesterday against Azerbaijan. And uh, not too much rotation from Brazil as well. Players played long minutes in a match that went over two hours. Dominican Republic, on the other hand, had a quick straight sets win and rotated players a lot as well. So how much will that impact the fourth set here? How much do Brazil have left in the tank? Dominican Republic should be fresher. And perhaps after winning the third set, we'll be more confident as well. And they'll look to carry that momentum into the fourth. Brazil will hope that the big yellow wave carries them to the Olympics in Tokyo. Irina Sabiazino, a sea of yellow. Two-time Olympic champions, Brazil, looking to go back to the grand stage for their 11th consecutive Olympic Games. Dominican Republic have only qualified for the Olympics twice before. That was for London 2012 via the North American Qualification Tournament and for Athens 2004 by winning the South American Qualification Tournament. They gained entry to that qualifying tournament by winning the 2003 Pan American Games. It's their third participation in the last seven World Olympic qualifying campaigns. They were fourth in 2008 and sixth in 2016, failing to reach the Olympics on both occasions. What a upset it would be if they could take it all the way to a fifth set and beat Brazil here in Brazil to end that run of 10 straight Olympic Games appearances for the world number four. That crease to start the serving in set four. Brazil leading by two sets to one. The Dominican Republic with the first point of the fourth set. only if they had quick wins over the last two nights coach Marcos Kriek's team but they're very athletic as well as a team in general conditioned to go the distance Brazil level the scores here through Gabby Service far too long from their number 10. And Gabby Guimarães, who we didn't see a great deal of in sets one and two, but she stepped up with Brazil down big in the third and tried to pull them out of a hole, just falling short.
Bradford to the back court and finding a piece of the court just about. Dominican Republic have scored three of the first four points in this fourth set. 97 kilometers per hour from the fresh, fit, and firing Galas and Ada Gonzalez. She's provided such a useful weapon off the bench over the last two days. Lorene against the block, gets the score for Brazil. Despite the very best efforts of Braley Martinez to get down to it. Lorene continues to light it up on the scoreboard. Does that find a piece of the line? No is the call from the first referee who is looking right down at it over on that far side. The Dominicans thinking about a challenge but not calling for one in the end. It was very close, that much we know. Can't tell off that image. Dara fielded really well by Castillo. Great save on the baseline from Brazil, but deflected too long off that left fist of Gabby all the way into the net. Maybe one or two signs that his team are starting to show some fatigue after. Yesterday's five-setter against Azerbaijan, there's another sign. Gabby taking her eye off the ball. And then ace for Dominican Republic, sees them up by two here in the fourth set. That's another Shaq serve reception. Grayling can't take advantage of it though. A big blow for Dominican Republic, who had a big chance in that rally to extend their lead. She goes again, looking to make amends. Does it get a touch off a blocker? No, it doesn't. So two attack hits in a row from Dominican Republic's leading scorer. And both of them missing the mark. Brazil back level at 5-5. Lorena Geraldo Teixeira to serve. Tipped over the top of the double block, kept up by Lorene, did ever so well, but now they have to brace themselves, Brazil. The backcourt hit against the block, somehow over the top of the net, without knowing too much about it. She'll come again, Gonzalez. Macris to help it up to Lorene from the backcourt, denied. Braley Martinez in the way. Dominican Republic again showing their tremendous blocking ability. Lorene straight into the net, in fact, but Braley Martinez was right there and penetrating as well in the right place. Lorene too long on that hit. Two attack hit errors from her in less. They decide to challenge. She indicates that she felt there was a block touch. We're about to find out. If there isn't one, it'll be two attack hit errors in a row from Brazil's top scorer, Lorene. And there isn't. Not 
really close comparatively on that one. Dominican Republic up by two, one point away from the technical timeout. Lorene starting to slow down for the first time. Just what Brazil needed when they were starting to fade. A gift of a point. Dara Kershater. Listen to this roar for the first time this weekend. We're going to see the Brazilian captain, Natalia Pereira, who was part of the team that won Olympic gold back in London in 2012. One of five Brazilians to surpass 100 points at the VNL earlier this summer. All of them, those players are on this roster. This very experienced and talented roster. And the captain looking for a big contribution. It was a big serve, but dealt with well by Dominican Republic. To the far side, to Gabby, who was denied by the triple block of Dominican Republic, who lead by two points of the technical timeout in set four. Could be a very nervy, very edgy finish to this matchup if Dominican Republic continued to go from strength to strength. It was a rip roaring start from Brazil to take the first two sets. In a raucous and rowdy atmosphere, but Dominican Republic have done their very best to quieten it since. Gabby, kept up by Castillo. Macri's back set, Lorene. This time got it to Lam, but Dominican Republic will come right back at Brazil. Kept up almost off the shoulder of Gonzalez. Macri's to set right on top of the net towards Gabby, far side off the block, recovered by Braley Martinez. Here comes Gonzalez again down the line. It hit two Brazilian players. Layer behind it. Gabby had to help it over. A chance to set for Dominican Republic, for Gonzalez up into the lights, Natalia underneath it. Gabby off balance from the three metre line, twisting, contorting her body and missing. Dominican Republic by three. They are wearing Brazil down. The signs of fatigue are palpable now in the Brazilian ranks. Dominican Republic look as strong and energetic as ever. Talk about strong and energetic. Anna Beatrice playing the role of cheerleader as well, knowing perhaps that her team need to feed off the energy of this crowd. Looking to provide a big momentum booster. Gabby rejected the perfectly penetrating block. Gabby stopped on a couple of occasions over the last few minutes. It was the right arm of Liz Valeve, who had only stuffed two of her 19 block attempts before today. Mara answering back emphatically. Brazil back within two.
Dominican Republic landing one off the block, stretch their lead to four. And it's starting to slip for Brazil. Three the lead, in fact, 11 to eight. Increase and Mara not on the same wavelength. Those errors have really crept into the Brazilian game over the second half of set three and this first half of set four. And they'll call a timeout, having fallen behind by four. There's a very legitimate chance of Brazil missing out on taking that ticket to Tokyo 2020 if things remain as they are. Dominican Republic looking the stronger of the two right now, looking to come from two sets down to level. Gonzalez puts a dent in the floor. Dominican Republic up by five now. Kayla Seneda Gonzalez doing the same thing she did yesterday, coming off the bench and providing such an efficient impact. Mara Rats is back for Brazil. And still down by four. Gabby from the back court found a piece of the baseline. Two in a row for Brazil to close the gap to three. Dominican Republic are challenging here. The ball was certainly in. That is not in doubt. We've seen that already. In by a long way. A bit of a bizarre challenge. Over the top of the block from Bethania de la Cruz. Dominican Republic back up by four, heading towards the second technical timeout. Brazil battling away to try and close the gap, but at the moment these two are just trading point for point. Can they get one on their own serve, Brazil? Mara Leal. Pick it down the line, but just wide of it from Lorene. She's really lost her way here in the fourth. Having been so, so deadly and so, so consistent throughout the first three. Dominican Republic one point away from the technical timeout with Valdez the veteran on serve. Back set Macris finish and a Beatrice.
Getting the running set. Isolated one on one with a single defender and beating Braylene Martinez at the net. Lorene to serve. Finished off by Braylene Martinez, who provides a bit of payback. Dominican Republic are getting closer and closer as they hit the second technical timeout of the fourth set with a four point lead. Dominican Republic up by five. Remain in the ascendancy despite the technical timeout. Jose Roberto failing with his words to turn the tide. Dominican Republic for some time now have looked the stronger team. It may well be that five-setter for Brazil against Azerbaijan yesterday coming back to haunt them. Ana Beatriz wide down the line. Error after error from Brazil now. They were so efficient through sets one and two. Roberta comes in. Lorene goes to the bench. She took so many swipes over the first two sets, Lorene. Needs a bit of a break, perhaps, to be ready for the final challenge. Gabby, did she get a touch off the defender? No, she didn't. And all of Brazil's offensive weapons misfiring now. They've all played so much volleyball over the last three days. A large part of that down to the efforts of Azerbaijan to come back yesterday and to take it right down to the wire, but... Very little rotation from Brazil, long minutes for Zé Roberto's key players. And it could prove costly. Gonzalez. Roberta to set it to Gabby, squeezes it past the block. Up by Castillo, three-metre line hit, and what a hit from Braylene Martinez. Dominican Republic up by six points now as they hit the 20-point mark in the fourth set. Five points away from taking this one all the way. Brazil will challenge. And need each and every point they can get at the moment. Challenge for a foot fault. It is incredibly close by a hair's width. But the takeoff was good. And the point.
point is Dominican Republic's. Henry Martinez comes in after a big break. The young middle blocker who has been so impressive over the last few days. A big point for Paolo, and you can tell it from her reaction, getting the fans to react as well. Brazil still believe they have what it takes to come back here in the fourth. Those fans showing some belief as well now. Back-to-back -back points, Mara Leal cleaning up over the top of the net. They're still down by four, Brazil, but trying to generate a wave of momentum. And that won't help. It's hard to see a comeback coming towards the end of this set. Dominican Republic have just been so sturdy, so robust over the last two sets. Castillo chasing it way beyond the baseline, had to be helped over. Brazil can set now for the big attack on the near side, deflected over and off the court as Paola celebrates again. A couple of points in quick succession for her. Brazil still need to at least double the tally of Dominican Republic from this point on in the set, though. Dominican Republic only four points away from taking the fourth. As Brazil get back within four. That one squeezes through a gap and lands for Bethania de la Cruz. Three more points needed for Dominican Republic. And can you imagine? What a pressure cooker this arena will be if we go to a fifth set to decide who goes to the Olympics. The swipe across court lands wide for Natalia. Brazil with Tandara and Lorene having a break. Now Lorene will come back in. And so too Macris, the main setter, with Roberta going to the bench. Candida Arias coming in for Dominican Republic for the first time. Lorene stops in the backcourt. A chance for Brazil now to get on top of the rally, though. Lorene again touches over the top of the block. Diving save from Castillo. Backcourt hit all the way through, serving up a facial to the Libero. And getting Dominican Republic within one. Bethania de la Cruz has been right on the money here today. Seven set points for Dominican Republic. Dela Cruz to serve. And to serve all the way through. Gabby helping it up from the baseline at an angle. Really well judged. And really well watched, all the way from the far side by Tandara. Having recently come back in, 
She beats the triple block and then beats Castillo in the backcourt. The first of those seven set points saved. A red hot Dominican Republic response from two sets down to get level at 2 2. And with a place at Tokyo 2020 hanging in the balance here in Ubalainja, we go to a fifth set, first to 15, to win or lose it all. Dominican Republic take the fourth set by a score of 25 to 18 to level this at two sets apiece. What a marathon matchup this has been. It was all Brazil over the first two sets, all Dominican Republic over the last two. And we are locked level, heading to a fifth set, first to 15, to decide who goes to the Olympic Games in Tokyo next summer. Dominican Republic have the wind in their Caribbean sails. And Brazil have to try and bounce back as these fans try their very best to rally the troops. And what a battle it has been between Brazil and Dominican Republic so far. We've gone two hours and ten minutes already. Nobody leaving early from this one. It's going to be nervy, it's going to be anxious and edgy, it's going to be tense, it's going to be fantastic. Brazil going to a fifth set for the second straight day here in Ubalainja. What kind of toll has that taken on them, that five-setter against Azerbaijan yesterday? They were able to come through and get an important win in that one. Can they do so again here? Or will they continue to have ran out of steam? The host will start with the serve. The setter, Macris Carneiro. And they get the first point as well off a huge block from Mara Leal. That should give them a bit more energy. Well, Mara was going across, but it was Gavi who was there. And got the final touch on it. They don't care who it was. Brazil with the first point of set five. Dominican Republic with the second, though, answer back as the official calls a fault, reaching over from Brazil. And the captain, Natalia Pereira, goes across to talk to the official, but those complaints in vain.
First serve of the fifth for Dominican Republic. The serve reception too long. And that one gobbled up over the net. Dominican Republic lead in set five for the first time. Marcos Kviek, the Brazilian head coach of the Dominicans here in Brazil. With everything against his team. What an upset this would be. They're up by three points to one. Against the two-time Olympic champions, against the team ranked fourth on the planet in a hostile road atmosphere, having fallen down by two sets. Dominican Republic are ahead here in the fifth. Looking to go to just their third ever Olympic Games. Lorene against the block, gets one back for Brazil. A huge outpouring of relief. And plenty of nail-biting going on around this arena. Squeezed inside of the block by Yanemi Martinez. Dominican Republic back up by two. Each and every point here in this fifth set with a little extra significance given that we're only playing to 15 rather than 25. And his team dealing so well with the pressure at the moment. Bethania De La Cruz to serve. Just beyond the baseline, not by much. Brazil back within one. Dominican Republic still believe that that may be caught the line. They are going to challenge it. My first thought was that that just went beyond the baseline, but it only takes a hair's width of the ball to catch a hair's width of the line. Let's see if it does. No. Brazil back within one. setting to the far side Natalia stopped in the backcourt Brailing against the triple block down on her knees now nobody on the far side it had to be helped over by Yanewi set right on top of the net against the top of the sizeable Dominican Republic block from the backcourt what a rally this is late in the match and Brazil come out on top to tie the fifth set at 4-4 They are digging deep and finding their second wind. Natalia Pereira with a captain's contribution to get the fans on their feet here in Ubalindja. Nothing to separate these two over about two and a quarter hours. And that's going to land in just on the line. An ace for Brazil to give them the lead and three straight points for the two-time Olympic champions. Mara serve again, looking to repeat those heroics. Too long this time. Four sets and ten points in the fifth. And we are still no closer to knowing which team will go to the Olympic Games. Natalia with the body shot somehow kept up by Yaneri, here they come on the near side, Lorene locked and loaded but denied. Dominican Republic back ahead here in the decisive fifth. Liz Valeve 
with another stuff block. And the serve into the net, 6-6. Six, six. It's only going to get tighter and tenser. Lorene Geraldo Teixeira to serve, Brazil's top scorer so far here today. Double figures in all three matches, and she adds to her tally today with an ace. Brazil serving up a clinic in the final set. Two aces already here in the fifth. They're one point away from the change of ends, which comes when the leading team hits eight points. Martinez against the block. A chance to set for Matt Kreese. They'll chase it all the way to the baseline. Over by Castillo. Brazil loading again and firing down the line. It was close. But the official says it was wide and a better three says it was in. It doesn't matter whether it was in or not because it was off the side of the body of Braylene Martinez. It looked like there was a significant touch off the blocker. Well, actually, they're going to challenge for ball in or out. And either way, they would have got the point. It looked like there was a block touch here. Maybe not, but it certainly caught the line. So Brazil win the point. And they lead at the change of ends here in the fifth set. The Brazilian fans ramping up the decibels at the Arena Sabiazino. Eight, six, Brazil. Seven points away with Lorene looking to serve, but we'll have a timeout first from the Dominican Republic. What a roller coaster ride of a matchup we've had between these two over the last two hours and 20 minutes since the opening serve. Brazil with the slenderest of edges, looking to dig deep and respond after losing the last two sets. With the weight and pressure of a nation on their shoulders here on home soil in Ubalainja. Looking to use all of their quality and character and experience to come through this huge challenge being posed by Dominican Republic. Roberta serve. Gonzalez long. Was it dropping? We'll never know. Drill down the line and onto the line by Tandara Caixeta. Brazil by three here in the decider. And a Tandara takeoff finished clinically with that accurate and powerful right arm. Good serve as well. Off the back of that against the block out of bounds. Dominican Republic dealt with it so well. By Aileen Martinez with the score to close the gap. Some words of wisdom from Coach St. Roberto to Tandara. Never Camate, the Dominican setter to serve next. 
The set right on top of the net from Roberto across to Tandara, who finishes from the opposite side this time. She got a bit of a break in the last set, Tandara Kaisheta, and she has come back swinging. After a strong start from the number 16 to this matchup, a strong finish as well. And Natalia with the ace. A captain's ace for Brazil. And three of their 11 points here in the fifth have come with aces on serve. She looped it low and deceived the defence. And Brazil are in the driver's seat here, on the track towards Tokyo. The vast majority of this big crowd in Uberlanger will remain on their feet for the finish. Brazil need just four more points and they lead by four. Gonzalez gets one back for Dominican Republic. Brazil really have found that little bit of gas left in the tank. After looking for much of sets three and four, Zé Roberto's team like they were running on empty. Refueled and refocused. Is Tokyo going to be the final destination? Gabi against the block. Two in a row for Dominican Republic to halve the deficit down to two. Gonzalez, who had a big attack hit before that, follows up with the big rejection. Marte back set, Gonzalez coming in again, this time the other side of the line now, Dominican Republic will challenge. I don't see a block touch and I don't see the ball striking the line. Hard to tell on one viewing though. At real time, the challenge is for in out. And it was out. Brazilian point, they're up by three. They need just three more. The fifth set finish line is in sight. And so too the bright lights of Tokyo. De La Cruz off the top of the block. Gabi gets it to go. And Brazil two points away from going to the Olympic Games. They're just about ready to get the party started here in Brazil. Amanda Francisco on serve. Gonzalez with the tip. Great save low down as well. Gabi helps it over. Brazil need to brace themselves. Far side, De La Cruz with the big hit all the way through. Dominican Republic are not done just yet. They close the gap to three here in the fifth. Liz Valeve needs a big serve. Otherwise, 
It's four match points for Brazil. Gabby, got it. A sea of yellow crashing against the Queens of the Caribbean. Brazil on the brink of a place at the Olympic Games again. Four match points, four chances to book their ticket to Tokyo. Macris to serve. She can set right on top of the net. Finished by Mara. And Brazil are going back to the big stage. They survived an almighty scare. Forced all the way to the finish by Dominican Republic. But they come through, finding a second wind after losing sets three and four. They take the fifth to take their place at Tokyo 2020. So emotional to seal the deal on home soil in front of this huge crowd in Uberlein Jack.